Hi, I'm Steven Fernandez, executive sous chef here at Fairmont Jasper Park Lodge. I'm here to show you one of our barbecue packages that you can order during your stay and cook right outside of your cabin using our brand new Napoleon barbecues. I'll show you how to cook the pieces of your kit and also provide you with some chef tips along the way. First, let's take a look at what's inside of our kits. Here we have the signature barbecue kit. Right here we have a AAA long bone tomahawk steak. We have a spatchcock Cornish game hen that is marinated in mountain herbs. We have two half racks of pork ribs, as well as two bison loin steaks. We also have veggie skewers that need to be grilled and a potato salad that can be served warm or cold. With every barbecue package, we provide you with our signature barbecue sauce, signature salt, signature rub, a bottle of olive oil, as well as a meat thermometer. There are also cooking instructions that go inside of each package. All right, who's hungry? Let's get grilling. Start your barbecue. Turn on to medium heat. Make sure it preheats for at least 15 minutes with the lid closed. Once the barbecue reaches the desired heat, you're ready to start grilling. Brush the grill grates with the provided oil. Turn the barbecue to medium heat. Place the Cornish hen onto the barbecue. Cook uh, maybe about 15 minutes, turning twice, maybe three times during the duration of cooking. While the Cornish hen is cooking, season the tomahawk steak with the provided salt. And then after that, place it directly on the barbecue grill. Cook for maybe 10 minutes. Flip once during the duration of the cooking say about after five minutes. After 10 minutes, flip the tomahawk maybe one more time. While those two are cooking, let's start working on the bison steaks. Remove the bison steaks from the packaging. Season generously with some of the salt, then place onto the grill. Turn the grill up to medium, medium high. Remove the baby back ribs from their packaging. Place directly on the grill grates. You can baste them with some of the provided signature rub or the signature sauce, or both. While everything is cooking, ensure that it's being flipped periodically to ensure even doneness. When all the items have reached the desired doneness, remove them from the grill and place them on a clean tray or plate. Cover them if possible. The longer you rest your steaks, the more tender they will be. Aim for maybe 15 minutes the meat temperature will continue rising by about 10 degrees Fahrenheit after you remove it from the grill. It's important to remember that doneness is best determined by the internal temperature and not by time. While we rest the meats, let's move on to the veggie skewers. Lightly brush the vegetable skewers with the provided oil. You can add the vegetable skewers directly to the grill. and Also, you can warm the potato salad by placing the pack directly on the grates. As the potatoes warm up, the bag will puff up a bit. A few minutes before the vegetable skewers are ready, you can reheat the meats on the grill. Now it's time to set out your salads and your preferred accoutrements. Now that everything's complete, it's time to enjoy the fruits of our labor. Thanks for joining me. My name is Steven Fernandez from Fairmont Jasper Park Lodge.